A multi-billion dollar project at Auckland Airport includes a 311-room hotel that was opened this morning with a karakia and pōwhiri. Tainui Group Holdings partnered with Auckland Airport to build the hotel, which features Waikato Tainui cultural design influences called Te Te Araki Nui Pullman Auckland Airport Hotel. Taking in the opening event at Auckland Airport is our reporter, Maioha Panapa. Kia ora, Maioha. What's been going on? Tēnā koe, Neil. Ai, kei kona ia hau, kei Te Araki Nui Pullman Auckland Airport Hotel. Now, we started off with a bit of a uh, hiss and a roar again with the very windy beginnings of Tawhiri Mātia at the starting of our karakia and our proceedings here at the uh, Pullman, Te Araki Nui Pullman Hotel. From there began the uh, wairia, the enchantment, encampments from the outside with our king, our king itu heitia pōtato te whiruwhuru, te tua whitu, uh, to the proceedings that we're carrying on here inside the reception area of the Pullman Hotel of towards the um, surroundings of the area in the vicinity as well. Maioha, what can you tell us about the Whakapapa and the design of the hotel? Kapa. Now, the Whakapapa and the designs of the hotel were done none other by, um, by Renata Tewiata, who is a very well-known um, carver within the Waikato vicinity, within the Waikato region. Now, we began off by showing one of the very po that are here inside the reception area of the Pullman Hotel, Te Araki Nui Pullman Hotel. Now, we believe that the Whakapapa is going back to Ngā Tongikora, Ngā Kōrero o Kingi Tāwhiao, tērā te Kingi Tuarua o te Kingi Tanga no hoki. Now, we come back to it being not only a reconnection of that Tongikura and of his kōrero, but also uh, the hononga that he has within the vicinity of the rest of the motu as well, e hoa. What, what kind of time are we looking at for, for the project completion from beginning to end? Now, the project itself took over four years to complete. Uh, that became actually a delay due to things that were in the way, such as COVID, that were out of the hands of the iwi. Uh, it became a $200 million investment for it to be uh, created from the ground up. Now, there are nine levels here at the Hotel E Hoama. The suites are in level nine and eight, and it took about... Uh, yes, around four years for that to be in completion. Now, this is an investment that not only creates opportunity for tribal members, but for the rest of the mutu as well. This uh, investment will also bring in a revenue, a rough estimation, according to the annual report of Tainu Group Holdings for 2024, around 30 million for each of their marae governance. Now, of course, this will increase throughout the years as um, it as the inception comes from here on in. But this will be an investment and an opportunity for many of the tribal members and for many of its descendants to come. This is uh, a, a pretty big investment in this hotel. Uh, it, and 300 rooms is quite significant for Aotearoa. Have you managed to have a look inside any of the rooms? We have, Ehoa, we have looked into one of the rooms on two level four. Uh, with, this is, of course, one of the main rooms. Now, this is an investment that has shown a five-star quality experience for many of the motu that will come and experience the opportunity to stay here throughout the year and throughout many years to come. Now, this, the beauty of these rooms is the simplicity of the design created and discussed not only with the kava but with the rest of the ragatira within the rohe of Waikato as well, starting with the uh, teeth of the tanifa, he piko he tanifa, koe ra te tehi o ngā tino kōrero uh, nō te iwi, nō te rohe a nō hoki o Waikato. And you see that throughout not only the rooms but the vicinity of the building as well. And all you have to do is merely look to your sides and you'll see the love, the effort and the, um, I guess, the experience that you would be given from Waikato here in Te Araki Nui Pullman Hotel, Ewha. Great job, our reporter Maioha Panapa at Auckland Airport for the opening of the newest airport hotel, Kelda.